Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Hi, Ellie. Long time no talk to you. How are you? Good. How have you been? I am so blessed and highly favored, and I hope the same for you. Yes, indeed. Well, I want my audience to know, now that we're past the kissy kissy stuff, <laughs> my guest today is Ellie Krieger. She's the host and the executive producer of public television cooking series, Ellie's Real Good Food. Ellie has teamed up with the Quaker Oats Company to inspire the Valder BB Show audience with tips and information. Because February is National Heart Health Month, and experts agree that one of the best ways to help reduce the risk of heart disease is to pay attention to what we put in our bodies. Thank you for joining me, Ellie. I'm so excited to talk with you because you're a registered dietitian, and you know I always love to talk about food. Absolutely. I'm a registered dietitian and chef also, and I'm all about the sweet spot where delicious and healthy meat, you know. Um, but you raise a really important point, Valder, and that's that with heart disease, you know, it's the number one killer of men and women. So it's something women have to pay attention to also. I think many people don't realize that, um, but we all do. And excitingly, and it's so wonderful and hopeful that we can prevent heart disease. We can prevent much of heart disease by uh, changing the way we eat and by eating well. And I just love that you know, we do have that power and we can do it in a really delicious way. And so I've teamed up with Quaker, uh, as you noted, and to really help with some easy, delicious kind of hacks for essential swap outs for, for, for throughout the day that really anyone can do. Um, okay. Are we going to start with breakfast? Because you know it's the most important meal of the day. Yeah, absolutely. You know, breakfast can start your day off on the right track. Um, and getting good breakfast really kind of sets the tone for the day. Um, and for me, I can't think of a more wonderful, hearty breakfast than a nice hot bowl, especially this time of year, right, of Quaker oats. And the great thing about oats, okay, so one of the things for your heart that you want to do is get more whole grains and less refined grains. So swapping out refined grains for whole grains is a key thing to do for heart health. But oats in particular are unique in that they have this type of fiber in them called beta-glucan. And that fiber has been shown in studies that it may uh, reduce heart disease. And uh, one serving of oatmeal essentially has two thirds of your beta-glucan for the day. So two out of three grams. So right there, you're really getting such an incredible start. So oatmeal, great, but you know what? There's other ways to work oats into your morning, into your day. And one of my favorites is to use oat flour. So it's something you can just do at home so easily. You take oats and you just put them in a food processor, in a blender, a good blender, and you just whir it up for, I don't know, 30 seconds or so, and you get this essentially flour, um, which you can then substitute for white flour uh, in pancakes, in muffins, in quick breads, and immediately you have made that so much more heart healthy. I know, and you know, we know oats from our childhood, so we should be a lot comfortable with that. But yesterday I ate some muffins at a, a, a gathering, and they were made with oats flour. So we're trying to move away from just white processed flour. Is that what we're trying to do? Yes, and that has a tremendous benefit of minerals, more minerals. It also has more of this fiber, and especially with oat flour, you're getting that beta-glucan. So absolutely, moving from uh, toward whole grain, that's really important. Um, another thing, so moving on to kind of lunchtime, right? Another thing to do in terms of like getting that white flour and sugar and, and unhealthy fat out of your diet. But um, 
instead of say croutons or bacon bits or something, you want a little crunch and flavor on your salad, nuts are a great option there. And I personally love pecans, they're buttery and crunchy. Um, toast them up and put them on your salad. You're not only getting minerals and vitamins, you're getting heart healthy fats, you're getting fiber. So immediately, improving the heart health of your salad without even really having much more effort at all. Um, another thing I love to do is when I make a dressing, say a ra creamy ranch or something, I, instead of all mayonnaise, I use um, some yogurt and a little bit of mayonnaise. So I blend that together and then I get the benefits of the yogurt, which has probiotics and calcium and, and protein and is so much more helpful. It doesn't have uh, the, the the less healthy fat that all the mayonnaise would. So that's another great swap that I love. I love that. Now, okay, you've given us something for breakfast, something for lunch. What about dinner? So for dinner, one of the things I love to do in terms of swapping out, again, for that whole grain, instead of coating your chicken in breadcrumbs, how about coating it with nice oats? So it's beautiful to do. Um, there's recipes for all this, by the way, on quakeroats.com, and I love this one. It's so fun, um, and it just has that wonderful texture and crispness that you want um, in a whole grain way. Uh, another thing I love to do is do a risotto. Um, and I have the word oat in there on purpose because instead of using the white rice, um, which is typically used in a risotto, I, you can make a risotto with oats and it comes out so delicious and so, um, gosh, so satisfying, I want to say. When you make it so hungry the way you describe it, you're such a good food describer, Ellen. <laughs> Let me ask you, as I wrap up, these recipes, we know they're available online and what is the inspiration for you bringing it forward to us? Because you're, you're very healthy. What, what will benefits will we get? Yeah, you know what? I, for me, I really want to bring people, I want for my life, and I want people to have food in their life that they absolutely want to dig into, that they love, that's also going to help them thrive as a person in their life in terms of their health, but that's also affordable and accessible. And so for me, all of these recipes and oats in general provide all of that. And that's my inspiration because I want that personally and I want that for the world, really. Well, you are our inspiration, Ellie. That's why I love having you as my guest on the Valder Beebe Show because you bring great information. Thank you so much. And you can catch Ellie on PBS for Ellie's Real Good Food. I love to watch that on Saturday. You do a good job. Thank you, Ellie Krieger. Thanks, I appreciate Valder. it.